fantastic. Sorry, my principal just walked in, so whoops. <laughs> Tuesday. So today is January the 16th and we only have three days of school this week. Yesterday we were off for Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day and Friday we have a teacher in service day. So we only have the kiddos for three days this week which is good in a lot of ways because it is nice to kind of have just a really short week. However a lot of times that either makes it feel really really long because you are trying to cram everything into three days or it just kind of gets a little funky because you can't really fit in what you want to necessarily. So it's just a little tricky. Four days is more manageable. I'm not complaining about the three days and a teacher work day because I absolutely need it. However, it is kind of difficult just to really plan some really complete lessons in a three day week, but we're making do. So yeah, I haven't vlogged it hardly at all today because it is already almost two o'clock and I am just now vlogging. So I'm sorry I didn't get to vlog today. It has been a super busy day. And so I was just kind of focused on getting everything ready for today and just making sure that everything was good to go. So I did want to share with you what we have been doing recently. We have been using these spelling dictionaries and it is called my word collection. I found these on TPT and it is by Erin Beatty or Beatty, Mrs. Beatty's or, or Beatty's classroom. I will link this down below. It is amazing. Basically it is like each child's own personal word wall or spelling dictionary and they are just absolutely phenomenal. I have noticed a huge improvement in my kiddos writing already because they can go back and refer to their words inside their personal dictionaries when they are doing work on writing during our daily five and during our regular writing block. So these are amazing. We have been adding sight words during guided reading and during read to self and just any time throughout the day that they find a word that they want to remember how to spell or if it doesn't like follow a certain spelling pattern or rule they add it into their spelling dictionary. I highly recommend having your kiddos have a personal spelling dictionary or word collection journal of some sort. So I will definitely link that down below. Basically right now I am just going to get ready for junior achievement to come in. I have two representatives from a bank that come in and talk to my kids about finances and saving and how to start a business and just all kinds of things life related and so we have two sessions left we have today and then we have another session which will be our last one on Thursday and then we will be done with junior achievements so basically I'm just gonna make sure that the floor is clean and that everything is kind of set up for them honestly it's nice because I don't really have to do a whole lot and they take up about 45 minutes the biggest part with having them come into our classroom is classroom management because again they work at a bank and so they are not trained in classroom management in the education field and so it does get a little chaotic if I don't step in but other than that it's fine so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that everything is good to go to kind of help them have their lesson run smoothly so that's really all I have for today I may touch base with you after school but if I don't I will see you tomorrow good morning happy Wednesday so this is our second day of school this week and it is going really really smoothly I know I really didn't get a chance to talk to you guys yesterday at all but sometimes that's just how it goes so so today I already have everything ready. I stayed a little bit last night or after school yesterday while my little one went to an after school program to get some stuff done. So basically I already have everything ready which is awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what that looks like. So everything is already in my today basket and already in order and it's nice because I already typed up what I'm doing today. I don't do this every time but some days it just helps me and I feel a little bit more organized. Yes I know I have lesson plans but sometimes it just is nice to have one single sheet of paper and just be able to kind of go through and cross off things throughout the day. I am a list maker and so every time I cross something off a list it makes me feel so much more accomplished and by the end of the day I like to just be able to throw it away. So although I make lesson plans sometimes I do go ahead and just type up a list of what I'm doing that day or write it out just so that I can kind of follow that one piece of paper and not have to worry about ruining my lesson plans or scratching things off so I don't know I don't know why I like to do that I just feel more accomplished that way so anyway I do have some cleaning up to do this morning and then I have to cut out my student login cards I went ahead and set my kids up for learning A to Z which is also known as RASK 
kids. It is basically a reading program that is targeted right to each student's level. So for my kiddos who are reading at a level M, I went ahead and put in their level so that they can be working directly at their level. Some kids I did put a level above just to push them a little bit more. So it is going to be a little challenging for them, but I think that they're really going to enjoy it. Learning A to Z has a ton of resources for teachers and helping with reading. They have reading passages. They have all kinds of resources. I am excited to go ahead and use that in my classroom. And so I typed up little login cards last night for my kids. I can't show you the actual cards because they do have personal student information on them. However, I just basically typed up a table in a Word document and put in the students' logins for Office 365, their computer login, Prodigy, Raz Kids, and Tumble Books. So once I cut those cards out, I am going to tape them on the inside of each student's laptop. Good morning. How are you? Good, how are you? I am fantastic. Sorry, my principal just walked in, so whoops. But anyway, yeah, oh well, he already knows I have a YouTube channel and is supportive. So anyway, I am going to very quickly finish the cards for student login information so that I can quickly tape them down into their laptops. I am very lucky and I have one laptop for each student and so each student uses their own numbered computer every day. So it is awesome. So I'm gonna go do that and I will see you guys later. Okay, so if we start your owl pellet there, how long is it? We found sticks. We found sticks? Are they sticks or bones? They're sticks. Bones don't break easy. Oh, gee. I found a tooth. Does that look like this one? What is that? A jaw. Wow. Alrighty, so the kiddos are out at recess and I just came in, actually, I don't have recess duty today, but I did go out for a few minutes just to take all of the kids' pictures. We will be making snow globes tomorrow, so not real snow globes, but we're gonna do them as a writing activity. And I love when the kids are all bundled up in their winter gear and I'm able to print off their pictures and put them inside of the snow globe so that it looks like they are actually inside of the snow globe. Oh, and I'm kinda out of breath because I ran out there and ran to the office, went to the bathroom, Bathroom, and then I'm back here and now I only have about four minutes until the kids actually come in from recess so I just feel like I've been running around for the past few minutes so I just snapped some quick pictures of the kids and now I'm just gonna get ready for writing we have been doing animal research projects since we got back from break and so all of the kids picked an animal that they wanted to research I went ahead and grouped them they did not necessarily get their first choice it is kind of an extensive project and I don't have time to talk to you about it right this moment Moment. so I will do that as soon as I can so I will see you guys soon hey guys so it is a little after 4 30 and I am the last one here in my pod all of the first grade teachers have gone home and one of the other second grade teachers who is also in our pod just left and so it is just me but right now I really wanted to just take the time to go ahead and finish prepping our snow globes for tomorrow this is what they look like so I found this template on TPT from teach create motivate and I will link this down below I did end up shrinking it down to 75% so that it would fit on my snow globe and I got these Chinette clear plastic plates from Walmart. I believe I have two sets of 18, so I will have extras. But right now I am basically just tracing around the paper plate so that the kiddos have a pencil mark to go off of so that they know where to put their pictures in their snow globes tomorrow. I love doing this activity in winter time, especially in January where it's super snowy and it's pretty cool because the kiddos where I live now have actually experienced snow and there is snow on the ground right now. Where Whereas when I taught in Florida, we did not have any snow. And so it was really kind of hard for the kids to imagine what it would be like to live or to get trapped in a snow globe. The kids here kind of have an idea of some things that they could do and what that would feel like to have just snow all around you and be trapped in this snow globe. So it is a little different and I absolutely love it. I cannot wait to see what the kiddos write about tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here, head to Walmart and then pick up my little one and I will see you guys in the morning, bye. Bye. 
Good morning, happy Thursday. Today is the last day of the official school week for students and we have a teacher work day tomorrow. So I will probably vlog tomorrow as well, but I just wanted to touch base with you very quickly this morning. I kind of feel prepared for today, but I still have a couple of things that I have to take care of. Today is our last day of junior achievement, and so I have to fill out some certificates for my kids, and I forgot where I put them. So I have to go ahead and find those very quickly. And then the kids are also going to be using these junior journals for their last lesson. So anyway, they are going to be talking about taxes, I believe, or businesses, something like that. So anyway, maybe both. I have to fill out their certificates so that my junior achievement representatives can go ahead and sign those today. They are bringing the kids a treat and so I'm sure the kiddos are just absolutely going to love it. But I'm going to take care of that and then just a couple of other things. I need to clean off my teacher table because I didn't finish that yesterday after school and then I am going to get the kiddos pictures ready for their snow globes. I'm so excited. They turned out so cute. I have some kids dabbing. I have kids like just looking like they're ice skating. It is gonna be so much fun. So I am excited about those and I need to get those ready for today. All right, so the kids are at lunch and woo, our classroom is a hot mess today, but it's all in good fun. So I wanted to show you some of these snow globes in the making. They are not done yet. And I do have to cover up the kiddos' faces, but these are so cute. We have not added glitter or the front clear cover for our snow globes yet, but I just kind of wanted to give you an idea as to uh, how they're coming along and then hopefully I can show you some when they are completely finished. So here is one and as you can see the kids wrote about what they would do if they were trapped in a snow globe and then they got to decorate with cotton balls that I found in my art supply drawer and then they also got to paint. This little one is ice skating. As you can see, they all look a little bit different and the kids just did a really nice job in their writing. We conferenced and just went through and made sure that they had correct punctuation, capitalization, and that they were using their letters and sounds to write. I was actually pretty impressed that a lot of my kids used commas correctly in their writing. Yay! I love it, love it! Because earlier in the school year they were kind of struggling with that a little bit more. And so we have done a lot with commas in a series and so they did use their commas in their writing. So hooray! The next thing that we really have to kind of target though is the word and because I still have a couple of kiddos that are writing run-on sentences. So. If I were trapped in a snow globe, I would have a snowball fight and I would go sledding and this, that, and the other. So it just needs to kind of be broken up a little bit more so that they are separate sentences. So we will work on that next. But basically I am gonna go eat lunch with my team and then come back and get ready for math. Good morning, happy Friday. So today is January 19th and today is actually a teacher work day. I took the first half of the day off though because I needed to make my yearly doctor's appointment and I figured that I may as well just take off when I don't need a substitute in the classroom because I do have a couple of kiddos who do not do well with change and it seems that every time I have a sub in my room, they run. So I decided that it would just be easier to go ahead and take off on a day where I didn't need a sub in the classroom and we don't have any any meetings or anything today. It is just a teacher in service day where we can work in our classrooms. So I just dropped my little one off at a school age program for the day. That way I can go ahead and run to my doctor's appointment. Then I'm going to go grab some lunch and then I will head up to the school for the remainder of the day. So I still will get a good solid three to four hours in my classroom. And then this afternoon, I mean, it's a Friday night. I don't plan on staying past 3.30. Plus I have to pick up my little one. They do close a little bit earlier today. And so I will go ahead and head on home and relax. So my husband and I have been doing a lot of house hunting recently. We move from South Dakota to Florida in four months and we have a lot to do. We have never purchased our own home. We have always rented and we are looking into buying our first home. We really want to live near the water if possible. So we have started our house hunting now. We just got a realtor and we are going to hopefully find the home of our dreams and have all of the pieces that we are looking for. 
We also must have a big enough backyard for Chief to run because he is very high energy and needs to get out his energy without us having to take him to a dog park. So it is taking us a little bit longer to find a home because we want to be near the water. We have to have a fenced in backyard for Chief. I want it to be newer and a little bit more modern just because we have lived in older homes, which I love them and I love fixer uppers and eventually we do want to purchase a fixer upper. However, it looks like we may not be in Florida for very long and so we want to be able just to rent it out after we leave if that's what it all comes down to. And we want to be able to do that without having to worry about a ton of repairs right off the bat. If it's a newer house, then I won't be worried about things breaking right off the bat, hopefully. I mean, anything can happen, but my guess is that it wouldn't happen as quickly as it would maybe with an older home. So we have an amazing realtor. She is finding some really beautiful homes that are under new construction. And so hopefully we can kind of close on a house here within the next couple of months so that it is ready for us when we move down in May. So I really need to go run to my doctor's appointment and I will see you guys in a little bit. I had to stop for my tropical smoothie first. So I just did that and now I am headed to my doctor's appointment. All right, so I just had my doctor's appointment and those are never fun. I mean, they're just, they're never enjoyable, but we live only about two minutes away from the hospital here. And so I just swung home really quickly. I actually don't even have to be to school until 1130 actually 12 30 because we get an hour for lunch so i'm basically just going to finish my tropical smoothie and i may hit up panera on the way to school because i absolutely love panera and i haven't really had an actual lunch yet while i'm home though i do want to go ahead and film and if you hear chief's paws clicking on the wood floor that is because he is going back and forth he's trying to get me to go outside and play with him which i will do before i head out chief do you need water i think chiefy needs water Okay, Chiefy, I got your water, baby. I need to get some gas and then I'm gonna head up to grab lunch and then go to the school. I will see you guys there. Hey guys, so Justin Timberlake is on the radio. Ooh, ooh, I haven't heard this song forever. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. But I am gonna actually, I decided to wait and go to lunch with my second grade team because I don't want to seem antisocial. I really do love them, but sometimes I just do lunch on my own because I have working lunches a lot because I don't know, it just takes up a lot of time to actually leave, go to lunch, and then come back when I could be getting stuff done. So I guess I'm a workaholic maybe? I don't know. But I do need to go ahead and get gas and then I need to go through the car wash. I'm gonna head into the school a little bit earlier just to make sure that I am there on time so I can head out to lunch with them. So I'm gonna go do that now and then I'll see you guys later. Oh, my car has needed a bath for a long time. Oh my goodness. so much better and it smells so good. I love, love, love getting a car wash. All right guys, so I am in my classroom now and I went and ate lunch with my second grade team. We went to McKenzie River and it was delicious. So anywho, I have a lot to take care of here in the classroom today, but honestly, I don't know what happened, but I am like so tired now. I think it's probably because I don't really want to be working right now. And since the kids aren't here, I don't know. I just don't, I don't have any like drive or motivation today, especially when I look at this table over here and my counter over here and yeah so I just I have a lot to get done today so basically what I'm doing now is I am finishing gluing all of the kids snow globes and hanging those up on the bulletin board I also have to schedule conferences for February 1st and we don't have to conference with all parents just the parents of those kiddos who we have concerns about whether they are academic concerns or behavioral concerns so i have to do that today for some of those kids who i do have concerns about and basically i am going to be filling out these forms let me go ahead and show you what they look like they look like this and basically these just go home to the parents and it talks about what the conference is for and then they have to return the bottom portion saying yes or no whether they can attend or not. So I have to do those today and then I'm gonna get some things ready for next week. So that's pretty much it. I am gonna go ahead and finish up these snow globes and then I'm so tired all of a sudden. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just because I'm not motivated or if my coffee is wearing off or what, but that is that. 
So some of the kids used way too many cotton balls inside of their snow globes. So you can see that these clear plastic plates are not wanting to fit over them. I don't know what I should do. But I don't know if I should just load it up with hot glue around the edges or make them redo it. I don't know. I think I want to maybe squish down some of their cotton balls so that I can at least try it. I don't know. They're so cute. I don't want to make them redo them. guys so I am headed out I am done here at school and I'm going to go pick up my little one and head home I plan on having a relaxing weekend but I am gonna have to pop up here to the school probably once this weekend because I didn't really get all of the time that I was hoping for since I did have my doctor's appointment this morning and I didn't quite finish everything so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go and I will see you guys in my next vlog bye